You're gonna eat Delaware? What? Who spent the time making this? Generic intro in the deck goes move here back with another Doug Doug video. Today we're doing I Force Twitch chat to fight in the American Revolution. I don't know what game this is gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna be Tabs, which he's done a video on that before in the past, which I really, really enjoy. You can check out my reaction to the last Doug Doug video, which was Can I Beat Mario Before Twitch Chat Beats World Level, which totally went off the rails. I love that episode or video so much. I'll leave it right up there. Also link down below in the description. Also in a place on my channel with all my other Doug Doug reactions going in chronological order. I hope you're having a wonderful day and hope I can make it just a tiny little bit better. I do read all your comments at least some below also shout out to the patrons because they get the videos a day early and a lot of time on paywall and channel three dollars a month get you all my reaction videos a day early i should be live streaming today at 5 p.m uh playing uh genshin impact lantern ride event playing with friends and co-op and stuff like that my very first limited time event in genshin impact and i'll be streaming undertale tomorrow with uh, my first ever genocide run in undertale and also has been hotel with kirby should go live tomorrow as well as hopefully the new dragon shorts video by uh team four star so patrons have that video right now at the time that this video is going live Patrons should have that, but like I said, I do read all your comments, at least some down below. But let's go ahead and jump into whatever Twitch chat's gonna do in the American Revolution. All right. This is the true is it tabs story again? of the American Revolutionary War. The one that oh, historians God. are is too it, afraid it, to tell you. Because the American army was actually led by Twitch chat. And the British oh, army was oh, actually led by an dog. AI version of King George III from Britain. You shan't escape okay. the long culture car. Oh, it's of one of these. It's one of these. In this of these. historical reenactment, the Americans will start with the bottom six colonies. The British will start with the top six colonies. And the first side uh, will take over ten of the thirteen So it's another one of these. Oh, okay. War. But and it's as we Twitch all know, chat. The first battle took place in the colony always... of Delaware, I, I think. So let's start by having Twitch chat decide Did their it? strategy for the Great Battle of Delaware. Nuke Delaware. Why? You don't have nukes. We are in 1776. Okay. <laughs> Disguise as the British? Like, to surprise them? Now, guys, I don't to believe there's don't... any bias, but one of our British VIPs it has suggested surrender. surrendering immediately and ceding full control of the country. To no, Britain. not going to happen. Option. That's going to get, like, one person. Destroy Delaware so nobody can have it. Offer opium to King George to get him addicted. Oh, God. that's historically relevant and funny. Send in Is George that actually Washington what happens? To be wanted with a chainsaw. King you don't George? have that in 1776. I'll say with an axe. Which he may or may not have used. That story is real. I'd like also, to he wasn't like six foot two. Just say we don't want Delaware. If we get it, we want to cut it off Look, and send it adrift. That's, that's not how the Bruce islands right work. Now. You don't have control because this is back in 1776 when you had a king who just did whatever the hell he wanted, right? He's a good option. Oh, that, yeah, because the AI Their gets first to decide. move of the Revolutionary War is destroy. To destroy. Delaware. How do you do that? So the British. <laughs> I can't have it. There was no indication that you couldn't have it, but this is good. How exactly do you want to do this? You I do don't not have know. nukes. This is 1776. Nukes. Push it into the ocean. Salt the fields. <laughs> okay, you have decided to eat, eat Delaware. Delaware. I don't know what novel AI will do with that information, but you will try. <laughs> God bless America. Now, um, we'll ask King George from Britain his strategy for this battle. Okay, King and George. The they're going to be trying the to American eat it. Colonies has officially also, they can begun. keep New Jersey. The first battle is going to be taking place in Delaware, sir. What strategy would you like to employ on this battlefield? I want like a big, dramatic entrance out of the gate. Because as long as it's something... Also, look at Virginia voice, before West Virginia. No. Nope. Ah, what? Delaware. Filled with more empty space than a Scottish man's Virginia understanding there? of dental hygiene. Why is he roasting the Scottish? We shall weaponize the oh so beloved British, British obsession they do? with orderly cues. Hear me out. It's not as absurdum vulgaris, a fancy term for utterly bollocks, that you peasants wouldn't get. We'll line up our wow. troops in a This is giving me cube. Napoleon Convince those Yankee rebels were there for their laughable Black Friday sales. As they approach to join in, they <laughs> will nice find themselves Friday. surrounded. Their love for bargains, their downfall, like confused. Using a coyote with a garden gnome, they won't see it coming until it's gnawing at their ankles. We'll make them Wh shit bricks all wrapped up in Union Jacks before they know what <laughs> it is. This will teach those uncouth scoundrels not to mess with the king who single handedly outdrank the entire Irish Navy. What? You feel that, colonists? Dude, everybody's that catching British straight shots. Descending upon you like Honestly, a very kind of accurate for the time. Why is he shitting on Scotland and Ireland? What's wrong with this guy? No, don't. That's my king. The 18th Betray century is not now kind of what Britain was about. Out, though. We will use novel AI to accurately determine which side wins the Battle of Delaware. And I don't actually remember much American history because uh, I took it in middle school and got bad grades. I'm pretty sure this is accurate, there. though. Oh. The first battle will take place in Delaware. King George began the battle I by lining up his troops in a Black Friday you. sail and then pouncing on the American soldiers when they attempt to join in on the sail. Meanwhile, the American uh, revolutionaries attempt to eat, eat all of Delaware. All of so Delaware. The can't have AI's going to be like, I don't know Meanwhile, what to do with this. Meanwhile, the British send in some spies. These spies are disguised as bacon 
This makes the American revolutionaries upset. So they throw them in the Delaware River and take the bacon. That's probably cold. The American revolutionaries try to get the bacon back, but they don't have time. And then the battle begins. The British <laughs> army attacks and kills all of the All Americans. of them? The battle is won. And Rigged. The British celebrate by dancing around the Delaware River, which has a huge hole in it from where they threw the spies. Unfortunately, your strategy of not attacking did not seem to work, Chad. Uh, rigged. Everybody's saying rigged. And, Delaware okay. Has the highest cancer rate in the nation. No joke. Really? Well, maybe the Brits Why? will get cancer there now. So, this is promising. A uh, strong start, I would say, from you guys. Can we turn Ohio into an ocean? <laughs> Ohio is currently in Quebec, which is... Owned Quebec? By the who owned Quebec at this French. Time? No, the French. I'm done. Is <laughs> Rupert's land the British? I don't know who Rupert is. Fantastic job, oh. King George. Your army managed to kill the American revolutionary stationed in Delaware and threw him into the river hole. Now you have Maryland and Pennsylvania yeah. as colonies that you can attempt to take next. Which one do you attack oh. and what is your strategy? Be ready for the smartest strategy you've ever heard in your life. It's not. Well, fuck me sideways with a crumpet. Isn't that a fine pickle? Maryland or Pennsylvania, eh? Let's go with Maryland. The okay, home cut off of Pennsylvania. quantities of blue crabs, which are clearly vastly inferior to our noble British lobster. <laughs> The strategy, Wait, gentlemen, true. is audacious, daring, and definitely Do they have top draw Like, is that something they're known for? Which means for? mutual back-scratching, you uncultured buffoons. We shall barrage the coastline okay. with okay. leftover okay. fish and chips wrapped in copies of the Times. An idea as British as a corgi eating a scone. These American yokels will scuttle crab-like to collect the feast, only to be met with our well-disciplined <sighs> troops That's smart. popping out of gigantic teapots. Okay. You teapots? Aren't prepared wow, that is... For these levels. Very British subterfuge, <laughs> are ya? All right, chat. The next battle is taking place in Maryland. What is your strategy? I... Somebody said make the Statue of Liberty into a mech. That's fine. Did he, but you the American didn't even make too. the Statue of Liberty. Or marbles on the battlefield. I mean, simple but effective. Throw really angry Maryland crabs at them. Send a team to steal Stonehenge. Stonehenge doesn't exist yet. <laughs> I don't it, think that's it, it, def it definitely did. France, I just feel like you do want colonies, just so you know. Organize a crab rave. Doesn't seem like a great... None of these that's seem gonna like win. really good uh, battle tactics. No. It looks like you were going to turn the Statue of Liberty into a mech. Now, the Statue of Liberty you don't have it at this yet. point, but yeah. you try to build it and then send it into battle, I guess. I'm sure it'll work out. I don't see any issues with that. Uh, Next, yep, a great battle is... took place in the colony of Maryland. The British Army barraged the coastline of Maryland with leftover fish and ships wrapped in copies <laughs> of the Times. They hoped that, to ambush the, the Times Americans like the magazine. they tried to eat the yeah. food by popping out of gigantic teapots. Meanwhile, the American troops attempted to build Building. a mechanized Statue of Liberty and send it into battle against the Brits. The Statue of Liberty that could be an anime, too, actually. So it fell into the ocean while still attached to a boat full of revolutionaries. Wait, into what? Trying to catch it. The, the, the trying to catch it? The revolutionaries drowned. That's just a loss, right? It's a submarine. I'll do one continue. Let's see. Then the British uh, Army became a fireworks show in honor. I think victory. that's a victory. When the fireworks were done, the American troops attempted to light up the entire sky with fireworks. The fireworks eventually destroyed New York City, which had oh. recently been liberated by the Americans. Okay, British win Maryland, but they also burnt okay. down New York for some reason. So is that going to... Good yeah, news, okay. sir. You've just taken Maryland. Your plan Yikes. worked perfectly because the revolutionaries built a Statue of Liberty and then it sunk the boat they were in and they all drowned. Maryland is now officially uh, British. <sighs> Next up, you could attack Pennsylvania or Virginia Where? from within Maryland. Which state would you like to attack and what is your strategy? You don't have New York. You destroyed the whole city. Yeah, no. You liberated it. <laughs> you it... burnt it to the ground. We crowned the land of crabs, but toasted New York, bugger. Well, yes. above everything, we what about old York? to throw a bloody good ruckus, don't we? As for our next target, I'd fancy squashing those Pennsylvania pretentious Oh, uh, okay. Oh, now, gentlemen, we're cut them off, then surround them. To our strategy. We're going to flood them with our royal tea. Our highly esteemed chemists have bred a unique strain of English tea leaves, the Karana Saker, or the Ooh. holy shit, that strong tea, as it's <laughs> lovingly called at court. We shall brew a giant vat of this for Pennsylvania tea and disperse it across Pennsylvania, effectively plunging them into a very I think Twitch might Lose Stupor, this. this, my good chaps, is a classic example of British finesse, turning a harmless high tea into a dangerous warfare weapon. Why is he so sensual and talking really quietly right the microphone? Dude, I don't, you guys might finally just lose. This guy seems like a fucking genius. I think yeah, well, Twitch, Twitch chat is throwing match. for skins. I would love to watch you guys lose. You're too cocky. You've had too many strings of successes. It's time for a brutal loss. Britain is up to eight colonies. Next uh, battle is in Pennsylvania. Chat, what do you want to do? Send in I, Abraham Lincoln. 
I mean, it's he a little early. Not alive yet. Baby. <laughs> Baby Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. This is 1776. When were the Wright brothers? No, I think it was like 1908. Right? Yeah, it's too early. When it's did they way fly? Too early. In Kitty Hawk, okay. North Carolina. Um, Been there. From Very Ohio windy. Balloon. Very oh, windy. One thing you do have is They're the from Ohio. Liberty Bell, right? You could use the bell for something. I, I don't exactly know what, but I feel like there's potential there, yeah? Make the Liberty Bell a mech. I mean, I think this is one of those situations where you gotta try again. By the way, for any- Yeah, the Liberty Bell. Freedom-loving, beer-drinking Americans. That they run it like one time or something. With the and it Liberty broke. Bell and why it is so important to us. It is. It has a crack. I know that. So. Thrilled by their victory, yeah. the British Army now advanced on the colony of Pennsylvania. They brewed a giant vat of their famous holy shit that strong tea and tried to disperse the British Army. I feel like I could definitely see that. The revolutionaries into a foggy British stupor. Meanwhile, the American revolutionaries attempt to turn mm. the Liberty Bell into a gigantic mechanized battle bell to attack the British. Uh, but they fail as the oh, Liberty Bell fail. is too heavy. Everything's too heavy. Their entire army as they try to move it. Dude, How? You guys are getting destroyed. Meanwhile, By yourself. a mysterious French spy the, the, arrived on the shores the of New Jersey. British only had to do King anything. George. No, but the French didn't know that. He snuck into a small fishing village and sold a bunch of French stuff. Okay, so I guess King George is like moonlighting as a French spy and selling stuff in Jersey. But you do lose okay. Pennsylvania. You guys are getting annihilated, man. It didn't say we lost it. Your it whole did army died. Yeah, he literally. Pennsylvania, and your entire army was killed by the Liberty Bell. You your own your thing. Army. That's enough. Your I own thing. AI is on British mode. I think you guys are being <laughs> British outplayed. British mode. Also, am I insane? Snuck is a word, right? It wants me to say suck. He sucked into a fishing <laughs> village. <laughs> That's George, not looking good. Won the battle. Pennsylvania is now in the hands of the Wait, British so Empire. Wait, so what? Your what's strategy left? to brew a giant pot of holy shit that strong tea wasn't actually relevant because they all killed themselves with their mech again. Yeah. Also, we know about your little spying as a French soldier and selling their stuff in Jersey. Uh, You're yeah. not fooling anybody he, he here. Sucked anyway, small it looks village. like Virginia is next on the menu. It has what to is be. Your battle tactic? Stay away from North Carolina. Virginia, I don't want to be sir. British. The audacity of these rebellions trying to get my knickers is almost endearing. Virginia is our dish also, of the day. AI. This is not an old map. Well this map is because nice it has like Tennessee. North Carolina just go straight. Involves the Queen's <laughs> Yes, you heard it right. If you look at the old Reggie, or as you commoners call them, royal furry fangs. These, these buggers smell biscuits from miles away. I say we send them a bunch of spotted dick sponges. No American can resist a oddly named dessert. Soon, That's, Virginia should be ours. At least it's oddly named. And that spying nonsense, I call it business perpetuity, as the French would say, right before. Surrendering, so get that factored in. Am I not magnanimously genius? This guy uh, is George is fucking crazy. crazy. He is not holding back at all. You're up. Battle for Virginia. Yeah. What? <laughs> Why French soldiers from King George and Jersey okay. use his own wares against him? Send in Bigfoot to fight the werewolves. No. Turn the in White Virginia? House into a rocket. Now he's using werewolves, so I would allow this, but this would be your third attempt to make a mech out of some American symbol, it's, and it will probably it's not going to work. It's going to be too heavy. All the virgins. Is that why Virginia's named that? No. Make a virgin mech. It was, Just, um, I think you should move on from the mech strategy. George Washington uh, it was like King queen. George to a boxing match. That's good. I'm honestly surprised you aren't going for turn the White House into a rocket. Was it it queen looks Mary? like you are going for George Washington challenges King George to a boxing match. And this could really go anywhere. Next, the great battle of Virginia Wait, began. Wait, boxing match George? George I, my Washington money's on George Washington, King dude. George III to a boxing match, winner takes all. Not super clear what it'll do with this phrase, but the British yeah. prepared for battle by spreading spotted dick sponges all over Virginia and then having the Queen's werewolves lie in wait to attack. Who will win in this great battle for Virginia? Will it be George Washington's boxing match challenge or the spotted dick sponge uh, werewolves? Come on, I want to see it. the battle began, King George III knocked Washington down. Ain't no the way. Cross. Then King George got a standing over from his, from his French. French Supporters. Who were sitting at the back of the arena. I'm the pretty sure French, the French and England did not like each other. Emperor. And the king, after getting over his shock, countered by landing a fierce left hook on George Washington, which sent him reeling. In the fourth round, Ain't George no Washington managed to regain his footing and took a moment to assess the damage to his body. He was hurt, he lost, he lost tooth. a tooth, he didn't, he didn't but he still teeth. felt confident that he could win the fight. So he approached the king cautiously, but with determination, and threw a combination of okay. left jabs and body punches at his opponent. King George III, meanwhile, was confident the that he three. would win this fight. The he had three. the advantage of being British, after all, but he hadn't realized how powerful his opponent 
opponent was, and he soon found himself in trouble. Yeah, he dude. ducked and weaved, but the American soldier kept hitting him. Then he threw a series of kicks at Washington. That's not kicks, allowed. That's not he allowed in boxing. That's that's he took some blows to the face, and the crowd booed, but he was still able to fight. It was time for the last round. Washington We're literally in a boxing right match. Knocking the king down to his knees. The British army was shocked. And Imagine this is how wars were set up. The king got to his feet, but his vision was blurry. His hands were shaking. He's bleeding and beaten, but he still had some strength left in him. As he staggered towards his opponent, Washington threw a right cross that landed there on his go. face. That's got to be it, right? King George fell to the ground, and the crowd went crazy. They started Viva chanting, Viva France. Viva France! Then the oh, French soldier that George okay. Washington had met during his time in the military arrived and hit George in the face with a wooden box. <laughs> Insult meat what? injury. You know, let's see where this goes. He turned to the crowd <laughs> and said, Viva la France, and left. George Washington knelt next to the king and checked his pulse. The man was still alive, but he was in a deep sleep. Congratulations yeah. to the Americans. You defended Virginia. As a result of your win, you get a free research round. You can try to build whatever you want, and then you get to attack into one of the other colonies. What do you want to do on your research turn? Research Straight max. Tons of dynamite to bald eagles. I like the idea that you don't have, like, a plan for this. You're just like, hey, guys, we have some time. No, it sounds really cool. Battle. Let's put bombs on our birds. Buy Alaska and turn it into a mech. I mean, Alaska is really important of geographical. trying to recruit Rupert the, from whatever the hell this is. Like, All right, you're going to buy Alaska and turn it into a mech. With the battle won, George Washington and the Americans had some time to recuperate. So they uh, tried to buy Alaska from the Russians and then turn it into a gigantic Was it owned by Russia at the time? Failed. I know the it Russians used to be, but I didn't know back then if it was. They thought they were insane. The Americans tried again, but this time they used, used a nuclear warhead to blow up Alaska and then sold it to the Japanese. Wait, they sold Alaska to the Japanese? Hold on, we're going to let That's this ride. That's significant. In return for selling the nuked Alaska to Japan, the Americans received some cash. The cash was then used to build a battle mech oh. and then give it to the French army Why they it to the in the war with Britain. Here's what we're going to do. The attempt to turn Alaska into a battle mech has somehow resulted in you guys you building a different mech, mech, which was given to the French, who are now fighting Britain with it. So for the next battle, you, you guys will do your thing, and also France will be attacking Britain with a battle mech. We have nukes. I guess you technically... Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess so. it But did we're going to say that nuclear warheads are dropped by bald eagles because you definitely don't have airplanes yet. Yeah, no. Nuke George. Why would you nuke George Washington? Oh, you mean King, King. George. Um, cool. <laughs> yeah, That's too many Georges. That's a development. So you're attacking Maryland. And this is a potentially massive turning point in the war uh, now that yeah. French is also attacking Britain. I mean, they kind of got a lot of stuff given to the them French that round. Boat. They're just fighting the British, which is fairly historically accurate. Yeah, so it actually really is. congratulations to France. You've entered the war. Bad news, Did you know there was a guy that sold the Apple Tower twice? in Virginia when you lost that boxing match to George Washington. Now the American revolutionaries are moving in on the colony of Maryland. You'll have to defend it. But we've heard disturbing reports. Apparently the revolutionaries have nuclear warheads. That's and fine. France has just entered the battle with some sort of giant battle mech. Sir, what is your strategy for the Battle of Maryland? Bloody hell. Nuclear <laughs> what? You've been Nuclear what? too much tea, lad. The French with their battle necks are like, not as exist. scary as a biscuit without tea. Okay. They'll crumble. Okay, we shall employ the he's most confident. cunning strategy, one birthed from the bowels of our great culture, the cricket play. We will arrange our red coats into overs and innings, just like in a cricket match. Once the enemy what? becomes confused at our placement, our batsmen like will cricket. charge with bayonets while our bowlers unleash a hellfire of lead. I don't Why know what work? cricket is. Have you seen it's these sport. colonists try to understand cricket? They can't even hold a wicket properly. I That's like watching a Frenchman trying to make a delightful English scone. Uh -huh. A scone. Look, I don't know a single thing about how He's cricket He's talking high praise for English food. I watched like 10 seconds of it one time, and it made no sense. It is incomprehensible as a sport. So he's correct. The Americans <laughs> can't understand it. He also thought I said that the French have battle necks. So he just thinks they have like thick necks. Gears so he might war. be underestimating them a little bit. Right, a little so bit, a yeah. For Maryland, you guys need a plan for Maryland. What is your strategy? You do have nukes now. Uh, Strap a nuke on the Washington Monument and throw it at the British. I don't the, think the it Washington doesn't exist Monument yet. existed yet because George Washington is currently alive, but I'll let it fly. Challenge British to a baseball game. Yeah, that could work. A bait? Okay. Sam Adams would get him drunk off his beer. The yeah, I don't Adams, think the yeah. original founding father, Sam Adams, had a beer company yet, but no. Oh, yeah, okay. send Ben Franklin in. Yeah, you guys should be using Benjamin Franklin. He invented electricity, created it. I like the idea of strapping a nuke on the Washington Monument and throwing it at the British. Because you well, wouldn't 
you can throw get it. away in time, right? You're going to be able to throw it like two feet, maybe? And then you're just How are you standing pick it up? two feet away from the nuclear explosion. It's, it's fine. More people want Ben Franklin to attack with electricity. The Americans oh, okay. were excited the French entered the battle against the British, and so fine. they now set their sights on the colony of Maryland. For this battle, the Americans send in Benjamin Franklin to attack the British with his newly invented electricity. Meanwhile, the it British just, line up the soldiers he just has electricity. in confusing formation. Meanwhile, the French attack the British with their new battle mech. Who will win Maryland? The battle uh, is a fierce uh, one, but the French win when they use a combination of electricity and battle mechs to defeat the British. Oh, God okay, damn. that's easy. Whoa, 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 hold on. We're going into Pennsylvania, too. Okay, this could be oh. a double. We're running it. After that, the Americans turn their attention back to Pennsylvania. Wait, is it a giant battle mech? Is it kind of Lancaster? Of Lancaster I feel like I, was, kill all I the drove through British Lancaster. Soldiers. The battle is hard, but in the end, the American like, battle mech wins. A couple it's weeks named ago. Hulk ago. Smash after a famous comic book character that had appeared a few months earlier. Okay, now, I don't think comics existed back then. Now, they get the comics. Americans and French. France basically took out the army, and then you guys used that opportunity to take Maryland and Pennsylvania. I guess you need like a. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a oh, big, that beautiful American big. flag. We are back to where we started after Literally. three hours. Well, kind good. of Delaware. Good, good, good. Your options right now: you could go for New York, which you just burned down part of, New Jersey, or Delaware. You don't want New Jersey. Want to attack next. Oh, New York. Uh, what's your plan for New York? Strap a nuke to Franklin. Um, okay. Benjamin Franklin did have extremely bad hemorrhoids during this period, right? Like, how he was did miserable. You, he how did do you say know this? George Washington, once he became president, I don't really wish I had had to suffer through my hemorrhoids for the last year, but I'm at least glad I was able to watch you become president. But he was, like, so miserable that he was like, I kind of wish I had not even been alive recently because it's been so painful. Sorry, kidney stones. Same thing. So, Benjamin Franklin <laughs> at this point is, like, getting on an age and might be willing to take one for the team, if you will. He's a great guy. Take over Broadway and perform Hamilton aggressively. Still haven't seen maybe Hamilton. Get a, uh, use more fireworks to burn down the British. That could work. You guys have already proven done it that once. It you haven't done a lot of successful things today, but you have burned down New York and They've got lucky. Alaska. If it's just destructive, you seem pretty good at it. France is still attacking Britain right now. Tell it's like Hulk a massive to play to have gotten France involved. And it's historically accurate, which is great. Hey, Dan. Yeah. It's me, Rupert. Rupert from earlier in the stream. I told you to leave my land alone. Rupert. Thanks. You're being okay. selfish. You don't need all of this land. That's a lot you, of land, Rupert. Jesus I mean, the mods time how much Rupert of it is even... Like a warning shot. Okay, you guys are going like, to take over Broadway and perform sustain Hamilton them. at them. With the Humans. original actors. This is going to be a good-ass play, dude. My liege. Uh, Bad news from the front. The Americans oh, yeah, took Maryland the original. and Pennsylvania. And now they have a mech called the Hulk. This is based off of a popular comic book that I'm sure you're aware of in 1776. Now they advance on New York. At this point, probably 1777. Their desire to put on an incredible play. What is your next decision? A comic book in 1776. <sighs> These colonials Not are more delusional new. Fine. than a comic book. No way. Ah, please, in comics, ha! They know nothing of true arts. They're like a bunch of drunken swans trying to perform ballet. Let them try. We're British. We practically invented theatrics. My plan? Good point. A classic British pantom invasion inspired by the grand tradition of pantomime. I'll enlist the finest actors about. from London's theaters as the enemies watch our riveting performance, dazzled in disbelief by our craft. Wait, so he's also putting on a play as the we're, we're having a starting play with a drinking off, song to distract but the not audience. A play our off, troops a play will off. Take like them from Broadway behind. Playoff. After all, a colonial's greatest fear is anything resembling culture. <laughs> the plan's sheer brilliance, much like myself, will have them crapping their pants in bewilderment. The uncultured dolts. Oh, I do love to dance, but only with invisible hedgehogs. They have great huh? taste in music, you know. What? That is just smart. left. I think he's getting crazy. He, you gotta he's put him down. Crazy. Right. Is it pajama is sand? Eventually permanent you... mental illness. It's oh. suggested he had bipolar or por por porkia. Uh, okay. I don't know what I that think is. King George is already starting to go. This is a lot of uh, nonsense. I don't know how well this is really gonna go. Who knows? Uh, work. With their massive victory, the Americans now set their eyes on the colony of New York. They sent yeah. their army to Broadway in New York City. Which and New York a City was probably performance very of the small musical Hamilton, but it was really aggressive. France <laughs> continued to attack Britain with battle mechs, and King George the Third decided to send the very best actors. From London to put on a play to distract the Americans while the British soldiers hid in ambush. Which of these competing things will actually? So the play went know. on, but it was filled with rude <laughs> remarks about George. Washington. Oh wow, that's rude. not good. The audience booed, and the actors left the stage and came back in as angry 
every British soldier to start attacking everybody. Wait, so the British Wait. are just like attacking people in the audience? Then I the Americans guess. got pissed and left the theater to go find the real actors and kill them. But then they realized that they were the actors. The British fooled them. They tricked them. Sorry. Who was the actors? The I Americans thought it was the were? British Let's keep were. Going. I'm not fooled. They had tricked the American revolutionaries into fighting their own army. This was uh -huh. terrible. The American soldiers tried to attack the British army, oh. but the British army was waiting for them. The Americans had been tricked by the British, and no. now they were in trouble. They what tried to escape, what, but the does British France army come was save today? So they had to fight. They fought like hell. They fought like men. They fought like demons. They fought demons. like a horde of zombies. They fought like okay, a Okay, why are we... Okay, we get uh, it. We they get it. <laughs> why like why you keep saying... Like what is a river of blood out of the fight? Like a world of pain. Oh my god. They fought like it's the in fire a loop. of the sun. They fought like an inferno of death. They fought like a nuclear blast. They fought like a tidal wave of blood. It's just repeating. Okay, it's, it's still... They going. fought like a Next, nuclear bomb. Comma, the American troops attacked Next. the colony of Maryland. They sent a battle mech to attack the British army in London to try to take down the queen. The battle mech... Wait, wait, wait. We're taking a ring. Kill a bunch of people and destroy a whole bunch of buildings in the process. Back in New York, the British have now been driven back to the city. Bring it back. The can send a group of soldiers to attack them in their base of operations. The battle is fierce, but in the end, the British are defeated. That was a whole okay, so lot of... Take New York City. Bring them back the in. And the Hulk is in London. We'll move him over. The Hulk is in the middle of the killing ocean. people in London. And chat successfully defeats the Brits in New York. You okay. Are, you actually have Advantage. a lot of options at your disposal. You could hit Delaware, New Jersey, Connecticut, Massachusetts, or this weird spot. I don't that's know. New York and New Hampshire. Chat is oh, moving. Wait, really? New that was Hampshire. claimed by both? What is your strategy? Play Yankee Doodle at them. <laughs> oh, that's smart. Hold on. Commission France to build a Statue of Liberty. Oh, because they can that's build next. That's why it failed the first time. Because the Statue of Liberty has to be built by the French, obviously. And then once they build it, you can strap a nuke to it. All right. No, France is no. building a new statue. Wow, that is bad news. That is a new crazy York percentage. Has fallen. Now those damn revolutionaries are moving into New Hampshire. And plus that weird kind of tumor thing to the left of it that yeah. is claimed by New York Both. and New Hampshire. Thank but then Hulk is already. now invading London and killing a bunch of people. We don't know exactly what they're going to do. We have to pull out all the stops right now with both France and the Americans attacking. Also, you were sounding a little bit crazy last time. Are you okay? His answers are <laughs> you okay? super long. Yeah. Oh, what gonna have to come down. news. I do love a good raid Should on my own keep capital it city. Short? It's like an unexpected Christmas, but instead of gifts, you get death. Am I okay? Of course, I'm as fine as a dandy in Dandyland. He's getting I'm crazier. I'm fucking brilliant. <laughs> now, as for New Hampshire, okay. it's time to trigger Operation Black Pudding. We'll ferment barrels full of blood, oats, and a dollop of American ignorance into a <laughs> massive black pudding. Okay. We shall hurl these barrels over their camps. As for the French, yeah, she's going we'll crazy. them with wine and cheese to distract them from the war. The cowards. That's smart. When they'll face our gruesome gelatinous onslaught, they'll be so disgusted. Also, why does wine and cheese liberté, apparently go together? Egalité, absurdity. I've never drank so wine and like, back, yes, I want pour us some of the cheese. finest tea and watch this grand spectacle of colonial and French catastrophe. Black pudding for victory, I say. They're actually quite tasty also, with some Massachusetts eggs, but too. only if you're not faint-hearted. Speaking of hearts, I once had one. Uh, I think I misplaced it in one of my madness spells. Or was it in a game of cards? I thought tick you said you were on that. Ah. He's losing his British <laughs> accent and definitely getting insane. Oh, what a great Why, is, why okay, does he he's keep triggering getting more Operation insane? Black Pudding. You guys are fucked. So now, the Americans advanced on New Hampshire. The British set up their defense of the colony by triggering Operation Black Pudding. Which they is something. They fermented barrels of black pudding and tried to throw them at the American camps. They also tried Why to bribe the French out of war with wine and cheese. On the other hand, the Americans have gone to their French allies and asked them to build the Americans a thick, gigantic Statue of Liberty battle mech, which they can send into battle. Which they've already the made. I feel like using technology they've already made. Let's see what happens. The French oh, say God. yes, but they demand the Americans pay them three, three. times more than they usually do. This is like a normal usual. thing. Yeah. The Americans are not afraid. They're determined to win this battle and mm. save the colonies. So they agree to the terms, and the French soldiers begin work on and the battle mech. When this, it's completed, they send it into New Hampshire. The French, battle mech destroys French the British army and kills a whole bunch of soldiers. Wait, that was, easy. that was it? I'm going to let it go one more just to see. As soon as the battle mech shows up on the battlefield, the French troops get what? so freaked out by the Wait, killing so machine France that is they gone? leave the colony of New Hampshire. Okay, the French have run away scared. You are up to so eight colonies. Are they just Princeton gone now? Has Delaware, New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts. Up here is this part almost of over. Let's do a quick resource round. You get a little bit of a breather from the battle. What would you like to do? Train crab soldiers this is almost in Maryland. Over. Ally with Rupert. Uh, I, mean, I guess Dude, there's who the fuck is seven minutes Rupert? Left. Oh, oh, Ron Weasley. Got it. I guess it's it's not Ron Weasley. It's just Rupert. It's just Rupert Grint. 
People are saying nuke France. Why would you? What? Why would you nuke? They France? left. Split Virginia into West Virginia. Hold on. Do you would just that count? Get another colony if you split I Virginia. I guess. I mean, the rules of the war are you have to get to ten colonies. That is kind of smart. Are they right, just gonna on. split? Before you guys vote to split Virginia in two. If you break Virginia, you lose it. Okay. This has to be a clean split. Novel AI can't just say that Virginia is destroyed and disappears from West the map. Virginia. That will lose you Virginia. You'll just have a big hole here between Maryland and North Carolina. But then you can't reach risky, North Carolina. It could pay off. Leave us Seems alone. Seems like you want to take that risk. Having won the last several okay. battles in a row, the Americans decided to do something crazy. A little bit they crazy? They must gather 10 total colonies to win the Revolutionary War, so they try oh, to so they Virginia get Virginia in all of them. half, so there are now two colonies. This causes a lot of problems, but okay. again, they managed to do, to do it. it. Okay. okay. So the Battle of New Jersey the begins. For New Jersey begins. The British Army attacks okay, New, Jersey New Jersey with their new battle mechs. Oh, they, so they have those now? The French had defeated. The French okay, had Okay, you also got New Jersey. Wait, is that 10? Hold on, hold on. That means you split Virginia into two. That's nine colonies, and then you went and got New Jersey from them. <laughs> but then, then, then <laughs> the they No, they took the it. British Army attacks New Jersey. Are Oh, wait, no, George they did. George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. Also, the Battle of so New York begins win. again. And the British Army attacks with more battle mechs, and they are defeated. Okay, Novel AI is also going crazy alongside yes. King George. Everybody it's is taking a lot of information. Insane. Remember, like, an hour ago when I said you guys were finally going to lose one of these? Yeah, no, Are and then honest? this happens. Chat, when I made the rules, I just didn't think about the fact that you could split your colonies in two. But having I taken mean, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, George Washington, Thomas, and Thomas Jefferson, Jefferson, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York and New Hampshire. The and American the revolutionaries have piece. full control of the colonies. And the they last win. remnants of the British army are slowly pushed to the seas. Delaware is empty. Connecticut is empty. Massachusetts so what's, is what's empty. The, Rhode what's Island the rest of this video? Empty. But as they begin to celebrate, they look out at the sea. And the coming French? from Britain appears the what? entire British Navy. Uh, this well, is the one thing that Britain's had going for for hundreds world. of years. The thing France couldn't stop. The thing Spain couldn't stop. And now, yeah. with their cannons aimed at Delaware, but also the other colonies, King George rides atop the head ship. This is your chance to get him. To end this terror once and for all, you must take down King George also, on his well, boat. Isn't this there is something the like the trees Jeff, that you, you use for do? those boats don't exist anymore because they were so okay, you're old? you saying nukes. You just want to send in the nukes? Do you want to strap I Everyone's Nuke saying somebody? nukes. What's your plan Who's with the, with the time Strap making this? Nuke to the Statue of Liberty. Strap nuke to Ben Franklin. Strap nuke to the Hulk mech. Strap nukes to the blue crabs. Put a nuke on oh. Rupert? You don't have Rupert. Ask Rupert to wear a nuke and attack the ships. You have no relationship to? with this man so far, but maybe he's, he's down. probably French. You're torn between the Statue of Liberty, but instead no, you're I don't think ask really Rupert that torn. from Rupert's land to carry the nuke for America. If you take down the British Navy, then you have won the war. My liege, I, I mean, have bad news. They have the American all of that. mechs took over New Hampshire. The Americans have fully taken over the colonies, sir. They even split Virginia into two. And so we've who would ever do that? Navy. All of the forces of the British Royal Navy like stand land. aimed at the colonies, I guess I can do ready to fight. Aid, but... How would you like to approach this battle, sir? It may be our last. And, and they've got Rupert. They've taken Rupert. Oh, egregious <laughs> fuck. Great offense to that Who's one. Who's going to feed my ducks now? That's what Rupert? All right. It's Doomsday Juggernaut. Summon the Royal Navy and ready the tea cannons as the, the sun tea rises. Cannons? We'll bombard them Why with not soggy the... Earl Grey, the very embodiment of British might. Just use Those normal unrefined cannons. yanks won't know how to handle such he's a He's like, yes, you're sword. British. And he's like, oh, I'm freedom, very British. Say. Let's see how they fare against the specter of splendidly enforced British etiquette and for rupert's abduction yep. let all ships blare the most dreadful british music all night a symphony of gilbert and sullivan's operators that'll make them oh. yearn for tranquility enough to return dear rupert and for my next trick i shall become invisible magic is just another wednesday for me it is wednesday no no, no. it's okay uh he's invisible <laughs> Sir, I can't see you anymore. Hold on. He he wants to shoot tea cannons and hit you guys yeah. with soggy Earl Grey tea. Got it. Makes sense. Ladies and gentlemen, what are you going to do be the with final that? Move. You must destroy the Navy to win. Unfortunately, it... King George III had a final move up his sleeve. He personally sailed his entire Just British Royal Navy to the coast of America them on the and shore. readied their tea cannons to shoot soggy bags of Earl Grey at the Americans to destroy them once and for all. But the Americans were not deterred. They asked Rupert Grint from Rupert's land oh, to that, step was a that fucking his actual nuclear name, or is that, that to his chest Ron and then Weasley. run the British Navy and blow himself up. 
And so he did. The what nuclear bomb went off in the air and killed thousands of people, thousands. but it also made all the water in the ocean all disappear. All of it gone. And then the American soldiers what kind of nuke are they using? used this newly created land to launch a nuke against the British. But there already been new. Are, this is, then they realized that this new land wasn't very useful because the land had no water, uh, and so they just kind of gave up and went home. Neither did That's the colonies. How the Revolutionary War ended. Wow. So are they dead? Is the ocean a colony now? The navy I is definitely destroyed. Guess the right? ocean I wonder is a what's colony? happening to King George. Rupert has definitely destroyed the navy. We need confirmation that King so George himself what, is, is France dead. Also, come back King into George was on the ships when the nuke went off. And then we'll see what it does with that, right? Because he is invisible right now. Uh, he died. Oh, well, he died that's pretty in a clear fireball time. of destruction. Oh. He was killed by the hands of the Americans. He was blown to bits. Oh. And that's how the Revolutionary War ended. God damn. There's no doubt. Usually this thing's a little bit vague. And you gotta Ladies be like, yeah, you get the Rupert number, but. Grint, 07 in the chat. Nobly sacrificed himself to and fucking blow up the Brits. The Navy's and then gone. Hulk's still Rupert's in London, gone. by the way. And I guess Hulk's a new king. Just dirt. Which means America is like a hundred times bigger. Congratulations, everybody. Oh, yeah, and the Hulk is still attacking London. <laughs> He's a I new king. Bad news, my liege. The Americans sent in invisible. Rupert to detonate a bomb next to your ship. You have seconds to live until you're blown to smithereens. Oh, God. What do you have to say as your final words against the Americans? Well, now, isn't this just the fucking cherry <laughs> on the colonial Sunday? Seconds to live. He is. Make the count. You uncultured swine. You may have your freedom, but you'll yeah. ever lack the the British charm. The day you understand a crumpet's true purpose. Probably the same day hell freezes over and pigs ballet through the clouds. But mark my words, even That's in death, I say I pigs shall fly. triumph. Because after all, being blown to bits is just another British pastime. Like croquet <laughs> or neglecting the French. And remember this. When neglecting the French. Of refinement, it'll be my ghost sipping tea in your nightmares. Because when you think about it, aren't we all just fish in someone else's bathtub? Splendid. No. Goodbye, King. Oh, what is a leader. final word. And was anyway, splendid. for all the uh, Europeans who are watching today, that's how the Revolutionary War happened. You guys are gonna go pass your American history classes. Do they thanks teach to my American stream. history overseas? This is our greatest victory because we started by blowing up Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they ate Delaware. Oh yeah, there's the, the Zelda video, which I'm skipping because I've never played Zelda before. I plan on streaming it at some point, like tomorrow I'll be streaming uh, my Undertale Genocide run. It's my second run of Undertale. The first time, I guess, was a pacifist run. It's on the gaming channel. And yes, last week I started my first Genocide run in Undertale. And that'll be streamed tomorrow at 5 p.m. Also, I'll be streaming today at 5 p.m. Playing some Genshin Impact with the viewers and Lantern Right and stuff like that. And uh, patrons right now should have Hasbun Hotel Season 1 Episode 2 with Kirby. They also have have Dragon Shorts episode 6 with Kirby hopefully but I really hope you enjoyed this video I look forward to reading your comments I like I read every single one of them I look forward to next Doug Doug video I hope to see you there I hope you're subscribed to some of the future videos but until next one take care and keep the music we were